back, Cornell, Ramesh, Susan. Well, Cornell, President Obama's job tomorrow is to figure out how, new roadblocks that, that Democrats can put in to, to save his health care. Well, I, I'm laughing because, you know, they don't have any pieces in particular about how to replace it because you know what Obamacare is? It was a Republican ideal, Chuck. And it was a Republican ideal put in place by a Republican governor in Massachusetts, right? Because uh, a lot of the liberals and, and progressives in the House, quite frankly, wanted something a little more progressive, wanted single payer. Mm -hmm. So this was actually a Republican ideal that, that President Obama tried. But politically, here's the problem, we all know it's around the table. It is really hard to repeal something where you have 20-some million people using, right? Mm -hmm. And not just in blue states, but in, to go to, go, to, go to Mitch McConnell's state. You know where Obamacare has been really successful? Yeah. In Mitch McConnell's state. Yeah. So my, my favorite anecdote, apparently <laughs> President Obama used to go into like uh, the communications office in 2014 and he said, Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky. He, used to, he had another word, apparently it was Ken, Ken, there was another word <laughs> that he used to elaborate the word Kentucky. Right, and so to take away, and I know the Republicans wanted to take away so the whole idea of the mandate, but if you take away the mandate, and look, we know if you take away the mandate, it all collapses because young people won't do it, right? So this is, I think they've got themselves in quite a box here with having to try to repeal this, but quite frankly, it's really tough to find a, a replacement. Ramesh, re re rhetorically, they have no choice but to vote on this repeal. But at this point, why not, is it, is it in their interest to pretend they're repealing and saying it's a three way or, or do they own up to the fact that, look, we're not repealing the whole thing. We're getting rid of a lot of it. We promise. But we know we can't get rid of all of it. Why don't they just say that? I think that they ought to say it. I think that the fact is the regulatory heart of Obamacare is something that they don't Seem, seem to think they can get to with a simple majority in the Senate. They think they need 60 votes to get there, and they don't have 60 votes. So what they're going to do is try to repeal the parts that they can repeal with a simple majority. But they haven't figured out a way that will make that work. Speaker Ryan, his press releases on Obamacare, keeps saying he wants a, quote, stable transition to a new system. What they are talking about will not provide that stable transition. You know, their, their problem is they can repeal and delay. That's okay. That'll get them passed. And I think they have to vote to repeal to, 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 so that they can say they repealed it because that's been a Republican mantra for so long. But the trouble is in four years, they've got to have Trump care in operation, right? I, and how, and they, they, I've been surprised that they've, that they've now committed to the pre-existing con conditions uh, provision, which is very difficult to manage, as you, as you, were, as you were noting, that uh, today Kellyanne Conway said they weren't going to, people weren't going to lose their health insurance if they gained it through Obamacare. That's a very hard I thing I remember that promise. Manage. I remember yeah, a right. Democratic... You your yeah, if you like your plan, you can keep yeah. it. Good luck with that. The fear of disruption of your health care arrangements has been the dominating political fact of health care all the way right. through here, and that's the problem they've got. How many of you think that this will be the following reality over the next decade on Obamacare, which is it becomes the new doc fix or the new mm -hmm. eight, uh, the, the new tax fix, where every Congress, right at the end, they have to pass the law that essentially we've repealed it, but we're continuing. It, there's a continuation of it for another two years. I think absolutely. And by the way, this is why Americans don't like politics. And this is why their politics is broken, because it's not real. Because that, that's exactly what's going to happen. So they'll, the headline will be repeal, Ramesh, but the, they'll have to keep punning and keep punning and keep punning. And in 2022, they punt again. The problem with that scenario, though, is that Obamacare needs continuing patching up. You can't just extend it. Of course. The exchanges are already in trouble. Obama was calling for legislative fixes. It's hard to see this Congress and this president actually doing that. Well, maybe he takes apparently the advice that President Obama also apparently is ready to give Donald Trump, which just slap on your name. Call it Trump Care. <laughs> <laughs> be done with it. Cornell, Ramesh, Susan, thank you. After the break, the Joe Show, the best of Vice Presidents Bidens from today's Senate photo op. Stay tuned.